not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. For this is thankworthy if a man for conscience toward God endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do well, ye suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Now this is what it says carefully here. He doesn't say follow in his steps. Because if we follow in him, his steps, we'd be perfect. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Yes, that you should follow his steps. This is again written to Christians to believers. Now, it says of the Lord Jesus Christ, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. God wants to be your shepherd. Now we're not sheep until we be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And the word of God says we are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So it says here, who his own self, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, bear our sins in his own body on the tree. But he's obviously when he was crucified, he bore our sins in his own body on the tree because he loved us so very, very much and didn't want to see us go down to hell. But that's exactly where we're going, by default. If we die the same way as we've come into this world, we will be in hell. God does not want you to go down to hell. He wants you to be in heaven. And that's why the Lord Jesus Christ suffered and bled and died upon the cross for you and for me. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Yes, so God wants you to be with him for all eternity in heaven. But we cannot be there apart from faith in the Son of God. We've got to put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to be in heaven. You won't be in heaven apart from Jesus Christ. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith? in the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal salvation. I'll go now to uh, 1 Peter and chapter 3. We're going to be reading at uh, verse 18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins. Did you get that? He once suffered for sins. The just for the unjust. He's the just one and we are the ones that are unjust, that he might bring us to God. That is God's intention, that we would be brought back to him. You and I have gone astray. We've sinned in the sight of the Lord. We need salvation. We need forgiveness for those sins. Without forgiveness, we're going down to hell, and God does not want that for you, my friend. And that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. The question is, is he your saviour? Have you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you become a child of God by faith alone in our Lord Jesus Christ? For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, I've said, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened or made alive by the Spirit by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. 
You see, when Noah was preaching, he was a preacher of righteousness. And he told the people, look, get into the ark that I'm building here. Get into the ark. Because if you get into the ark, you'll be saved. And you'll be saved. There's a flood coming, a worldwide flood coming upon this whole earth. Get into the ark. But they thought he was an idiot. They didn't believe what he was saying. They thought he was joking. But the point is this, once the water came, they knew that they were in trouble. But it was too late. You see, God had shut the door. And Noah and his family, just eight people, eight souls were saved. Out of the whole, lots of thousands and probably millions of people that were upon the earth in that day. But they thought he was mad. They thought he was an idiot. They didn't believe the warning that Noah that, uh, was given. Was given, that was given. Look, there's a worldwide flood coming in into the ark. And we want to say as gospel preachers, you need to be preserved from the judgment that's coming. You need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to put your faith alone in Him. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Very simple. But that's why most people are uh, missing out on God's salvation. They think they can get to heaven by doing good things. And there's nothing wrong with living a good life. And I'm not discouraging that. But what I'm saying is this. Be assured of this one thing. That your good works will never ever get you into heaven. You've got to come through the Lord Jesus Christ. Otherwise you won't come at all. You've got to come through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. As we've seen, the once for all sacrifice of Christ, the Christ also, again I'll repeat it, the Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened or made alive by the Spirit. So the Lord Jesus Christ not only died for us on the cross, not only shed his precious blood upon the cross, and he was buried, but praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. And he's the one that wants to save your soul this hour. Will you come to Christ this afternoon? Will you put your faith alone in him? The one who can know is life eternal. Eternal life is not found in a man-made religion, my friend. It's found in the person of Jesus Christ. As I said earlier, that's why the Bible says, He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have that spiritual and eternal life that can only come through faith in the Son of God? If you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It says here, which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water or free water, the like manner whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God. That's why people get baptized. Because they have a good conscience toward God because their sins have already been forgiven. They're not getting baptized to be saved, to receive forgiveness for their sins. They're getting baptized because they are saved. Because they've come to faith in Christ. They put their faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ for their eternal salvation. And God wants to save your soul this afternoon. And that's why I come here this afternoon. Why? Because I'm concerned about your soul that leaves your body at the moment of death. You see, we all have a soul that leaves our body the moment we die. And we're all going to be somewhere when we do die. Where will we be? Well, it depends what we do with the Lord Jesus Christ. If we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we'll be saved. If we don't put our faith in Him, we'll remain in a lost condition and heading down the hill because of our sins that have not been forgiven. But I'm here to tell you this hour that your sins can be forgiven. That's exactly what God wants for each and every one of us. So it says here, eight souls 
was saved by water. Yes, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. So the Lord Jesus Christ, although he left heaven's glory, and he came down to this sin cursed earth, that you and I could never ever live and then die the perfect sacrificial death upon the cross of Calvary. The Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Have you acknowledged the Lord Jesus Christ or have you put your faith in Him? Has He become your Saviour? Yes, He's the Saviour of the whole world but especially of them that believe. You see, this gospel is unto all, but it's only upon all that that believe. See, faith is the key that unlocks the door for your salvation. You've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, otherwise you'll never ever be saved. You've got to realize that you cannot save yourself, and neither can I, none of us can. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. This salvation is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So we can't get to heaven by doing good works. Now it's great to live a good life and all that sort of thing, and be nice to our neighbours and all that, but it will never ever get us to heaven. We need to understand that. A lot of people think that, you know, if my good works outweigh my bad uh, works, well then God will let me into heaven. It doesn't work that way, my friend. We'll only be led into heaven as if we, the only way we'll be led into heaven is if we put our faith in the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one who wants to be your Saviour this over, my friend. When you come to Christ, in all your sin, in all your need, in all your weakness, so we can't save ourselves. We're without strength to save ourselves. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can save us. He has come into the world and died upon the cross, shed his precious blood upon the cross, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. So what do you need to do? Again, come in repentance toward God. That is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and God promises you, everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. See the heaven or hell, depending on what you do, with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, have a great night.